Strong storms are all too familiar across central Georgia. We have a couple of them going today. The dark clouds, the thunder, the rain may put a damper on things, but seeing a bright, colorful streak in the sky makes it all worth it. Meteorologist Jordan West talks about how rainbows are formed. Rainbows have stretched across central Georgia all summer. And here's a look at just a few viewers have sent in to us. These rainbows come in all different shapes and sizes. It may even ponder the question, how exactly does a rainbow form? Let's break it down. It all starts with sunlight and water. Sunlight interacts with the water in two ways, reflections and refractions. Reflection is when some of the light diverts into another direction, typically back into the atmosphere. Refraction is when light pierces the object. Depending on the density, it changes the speed and direction of the light within that object. As sunlight hits water in the sky, some of the light is reflected and some of it is refracted. This refracted sunlight is reflected within the droplet itself, then refracted out of the water droplet again and changes the direction and speed. Light is made up of many different wavelengths. These wavelengths all reflect differently, allowing colors to appear at different angles in the sky. Overall, this creates a beautiful and a vibrant rainbow. If you follow one of these rainbows, you may just find a pot of gold. I'm meteorologist Jordan West, 13 WMAZ News. Well, then that would be the best part of the rainbow if you get a pot of gold. To join the 13 WMAZ Weather Network, head to Facebook. You'd never guess. Search for the 13 WMAZ Weather Network group and request, request to join or whatever I said. And just like that, you're part of the team. It's that easy. Be sure to send your best pictures and videos to us in the group and you can see them right here on TV. All right, we're coming back right after this.